PRP injections do not just mask pain. So someone recently asked this question, hey, what is our ultimate goal here with PRP injections? Are we just looking to mask pain and mask symptoms or are we looking for cartilage regeneration, repair, things like that? So, and, and this is how I think about these things. And I think it's crucial to have this framework when you go and you work with a provider who is going to be you know, doing these therapies on you. So our number one goal is always pain improvement, symptom improvement or resolution. Nobody is going to care if you perfectly restore the cartilage in their knee, but you do absolutely nothing to their chronic pain. Everyone, for the most part, is going to be happy if you improve, significantly improve or resolve their chronic pain and do nothing to re repair or regenerate the cartilage. And so our number one goal is the human that is suffering and reducing that suffering. Now, the way that that comes about with PRP injections is not through masking symptoms, okay? When you do a steroid injection, that steroid goes inside the cell and it physically blocks receptors that result in a reduction in inflammation that is temporary. That is masking symptoms because that is just suppressing the inflammatory response. Once that effect of the steroid wears off, the pain is gonna come back because you didn't actually do anything to improve the biological state of that tissue. When we go in and do a PRP injection, to the best of our knowledge with the research that we have, we are helping to stimulate the body to have some form of healing, some form of repair, some form of process that is resulting in a reduction, a resolution of inflammation, which then results in a reduction or elimination of pain. And so the way we get there is very, very different than actually just going in and putting steroid or something like that. Now there is starting to be some emerging evidence that PRP injections and stem cell therapy injections can delay the progression of osteoarthritis, so it can slow down the thinning and degeneration of the cartilage. And there's been some small evidence for PRP, and then some a little bit more evidence in stem cell therapy at actually regenerating the cartilage for a period of time, and then that degeneration process kicks back up again and it continues. That is all cherry on top. The number one thing that we are going for is improvement in symptoms because at the end of the day, that's what people care about. They care that they have less symptoms and they can get back to doing what they love.